안녕하세요, 여러분. 서울 라인치과 이수영입니다. Greetings. I'm Dr. Lee s o o y o n g I'm with the Seoul Line Dental Clinic. Today in this master course, we are going to talk about understanding of manufacturing briefly. Manufacturing here refers to digital manufacturing. As I mentioned a number of times, there are four basic equipment for digital dentistry. The first one is the scanner, a motor scanner or intraoral scanner, and the scan data needs to be utilized. to fabricate prosthesis or devices. That's the software. Up to here, it's CAD. We use the word CAD quite a lot, and the post-processing involves milling or 3D printer. That's the manufacturing part. So with this, we manufacture these things, the frameworks, wax patterns to fabricate crowns and bridges, critical guides, and the clear aligners, which is very popular these days, and splints. So these are manufactured. And today I'm going to focus on digital dentistry, digital manufacturing definitions. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. It is designing work aided by computer, and CAM is not very well known to dentists. What is it? It is um, computer-aided manufacturing. Manufacturing is required. There are only two methods in any industry. The first one is sculpting, the reducing, carving, or milling. A painting is 2D, and the 3D sculpture is to be made using sculpting. The, the unnecessary parts are carved out of a stone, and that is called sculpting, sculpture. The other one is modeling. When we make porcelain or a bust, we build up with materials such as clay to make a bust. And the process is called modeling. If you apply digital dentistry, sculpting is called milling. And 3D printing is the building up part. So we used to call the printing RP in the past, but the word is not used any longer. When it comes to the 3D printing, we use a special equipment like this. We usually use it to fabricate temporary crowns. So this is the modeling, and the other one is milling, carving out. It is not necessarily a marble, but uh, dental material is carved out, milled. And milling is performed using a burr. Compared to analog manufacturing, and there are benefits, three benefits when it comes to digital fabrication, standardization of processes, and the failure rate is very low. Using milling or printing, I have hardly experienced uh, failures. Of course, you need to do accurate setting, and uh, the work is repeatable, which is very important. And let me go over one by one. The first one, standardization can be enabled. Let's take an example of making a gold crown. It starts with wax up and making a model. Wax up is different depending on lab technicians. Their skill and know-how are different. Investing, burning out, casting, all the process is dependent on the skill level of technicians. Depends on who does the work. CAD CAM manufacturing. is dependent on input data. The input data was not very good in the past. With the advancement of digital dentistry and uh, utilization in clinical setting, digital data has become very accurate, and accurate data is consistently provided. If you do it manually, even though you are skilled, Manually, the work is reproduced, so it depends on the condition of a person, the technician. If I do the casting, if I had a drink last night, it would be different. But digital dentistry produces output very consistently. Because of the standardization, if you compare these two, we experience failures in casting. I experienced the failures when I was an intern. 
I did uh, the sculpting and casting, but the output like this happens. This is a little bit severe, but margins have air bubbles and the failure rate is not low and you need to do the work from scratch. You can also have failures when you do the digital work. For example, when you use ceramic or zirconia, during milling, milling burn would be defective or it can be worn down after a long time use. The milling burr can be bent or worn down and the failures can occur. But that can occur very rarely. The probability of failure is very low, which is very big advantage. So it relieves you of the stress. In the CAD and the post-CAD processes, uh, there's hardly any fear for failures. Third, the work is repeatable, which is my favorite part. I think once it is designed, why do, we, do you need to repeat it? But sometimes we encounter the need. For example, we make beautiful zirconia crown over an implant. Implant crown is not usually cemented using the final cementation. Many doctors use a preferred method so that the crown can be detached using materials such as a tampon. For example, a patient chewed a very sticky food and a tooth came out and the patient threw it out without knowing the tooth came out. And the patient calls the clinic and he lost the tooth. If you use the analog approach, what happens? This is a very difficult situation. The patient should visit the clinic and you need to start from a rubber impression taking. All the processes should be repeated from scratch, but in our clinic, when we receive such a call, we say it was made of zirconia and it would take a day to fabricate the tooth, so you can come to our clinic tomorrow. And we make an appointment for the next day and we bring out the patient information from our hard disk. We just need to repeat the milling and sintering, so it is a repeatable, very big advantage. And we can, with the same cat design, we can mill with the PMMA and with the zirconia. Us making a bridge or others with PMMA is easy and cheap, just a couple of bucks. And it can be tried in in the mouth of a patient and uh, temporarily it is cemented and uh, let it be used for a certain period of time. For example, if it is an implant, the sick down can be checked. Piece of a natural tooth, so we can check any symptoms, discomfort on the part of a patient while using it. If the patient is satisfied, you can use the same data and uh, print it out with the zirconia. If there is uh, something uncomfortable with uh, the temporary, before we print out the zirconia, by modifying the cat a little bit, we can do the printout again, which is a great advantage. Let's have a look at it one by one. Uh, 3D printers. Uh, there are two from Austin. I will go over it later. PMMA, temporary crowns made of resin, polymerized resin. We can use 3D printing for temporaries and even permanent dentures these days. It obtained approval for such use. The 3D printers are used quite a lot to print models like this to check custom abutments. It is a little bit different. 3D printing is used for some devices or during the interim processes, final restorations to be set in the mouth should be milled. Zirconia or ceramic or sometimes for custom abutment rod processing, milling should be used. Table shows the summary of Austin products. The 3D printers, these two, as I said before, and there are two types of milling machines, a four axis and five axis. I will not go into the details. These are for temporary fabrication, and the milling machines are for final prosthesis. Zirconia, ceramic, or hybrid ceramic can be used.
Next, uh, more details about 3D printers. Materials are built up. Let me show you the process. The materials are indicated like this, but usually it's a resin liquid, polymerized resin, which is built up layer by layer. To make a tooth, it starts with the root tips and layer by layer, it's built up layer at a time to build a tooth. It uses a CAD and built up using a 3D printer. After fabrication, post-processor should be performed. Sprues need to be removed and post-curing finishing should be performed. 3D printers, there are so many a variety. In dentistry, we usually use these six FDM, SLA, SLS, DLP, LCD, and PolyJet. And uh, I don't have time to go over them one by one. Austin uses DLP and LCD in general. DLP and LCD types. Resin, four resin types are available from Austin. This is a comparison between LCD and DLP. We have similar functions, but this is used for high volume work. And this is to fabricate a surgical guide or a temporary while a patient is waiting. So it is used to fabricate devices fast. Time and the pros and cons. I will go over this in more details in offline lecture. Milling. Milling is carving out using burrs. Milling, the burrs need to move usually in three axes. And there is a disc material holder, and the holder can move in four axes or five axes. So, this is how they are milled. That's the types of milling. Types of uh, milling machines, the shape of materials dry or wet, four or five axes. It is a little bit complicated, and I will talk about it in a lecture. When discs are used, the five axis milling machine is used. This is used often to mill final restoration with the zirconia or temporaries with the PMMA. Dry or wet types. Here, water is sprayed and there's no water. So this is the dry type. And when water is sprayed on, it is a wet machine. Why do we need to use water? Because of heat generation only for milling ceramic. Zirconia is like chalk. Zirconia or PMMA milling doesn't generate heat. So when heat is not generated, a dry tub is better for milling. And when heat is generated, water should be used. Number of axis, four or five. A burst spindle moves X, Y, Z in three axes. In four axes, there is one more axis besides X, Y, and Z, and two more when it comes to five axes, with axis A and B added. I will talk about this later separately. This is Austin 1 mil, four axis and five axis type. They have pros and cons. Ceramic can be milled with the four axis. Five axis can mill hybrid ceramic. It can also be milled by the four axis machine. But general ceramic cannot be milled by the five axis machine, which is much better for zirconia or PMMA milling. So four axis is fast. In 20 or 30 minutes, these can be made. This is for inlay, online and single crowns. And Emacs can be milled pretty well. The precision is plus minus five micrometer, very precise for restorations. And these three can be inserted together, which is an advantage. So those three can be milled together. These are the materials that can be used for five axis machine. Discs are used. Zirconia, PMMA are used quite a lot, and also hybrid ceramic and wax for testing. 
I have so much more to talk about with you and due to constraint of time, 15 minutes, I couldn't go in depth and please come to my lecture and let's have an in-depth discussion on this topic for two days. Thank you for your attention.